Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel and you're just stopping by for the first time, my name's Deidre, D for short. I am an avid uh, thrifter, reseller. Um, on my channel, I do a variety of things. Uh, thrift haul videos, shop alongs, vlogs, crafts, DIYs, upcycling, thrifted items, cooking, baking, little bit of everything. So if that sounds good to you, then hit the subscribe button and the bell so YouTube will let you know anytime I upload a new video or go live. I sell a lot of my items you see in my thrift hauls on YouTube live sales. And I also sell on eBay and soon to be uh, selling on Mercari as well. So welcome to anyone who is new and welcome back to all of my current friends. Today's video is part two of my Kentucky thrift haul. So if you saw part one, you'll notice I have the same clothes on. That's because it's the same day. <laughs> I try to film whenever I can, and if I can film back-to-back -back videos, that's what I do. So, guys, as I said in part one, I, I can't even tell you what I spend. spent. Um, a rough guesstimate would be about 800 bucks, you know, between the, the items and shipping and whatever. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the items you will see in these thrift hauls will be offer up items in upcoming live sales. Some things will be flat priced items, but for the most part, um, most of them will be offer up items. So without further ado, everyone, let's get into it because I've got a bunch of stuff here on my table. All right. Start with some smalls. I did buy these two. These are um, Indiana glass. I could see the, um, or I'm not sorry, Imperial glass. You could see the, maybe you can, there it is, the IG, Imperial glass. These two slag glass salts. And I'm pretty sure they will glow. Uh, of course, I forgot to bring my black light, but usually they do glow. So I picked those up. They're very, very pretty. They really are beautiful. Look at, look how pretty. So I picked those up. Those are awesome. I got um, this May Angel. She is in perfect condition, no repairs. She's got all that spaghetti detailing on her. Uh, she is a Napco. There is her sticker. So I got her. Now Vinny found this for me, and because he knows I am part Polish. Um, it is an angel of Poland. I have never, ever seen ones from different countries. How cool is that? And she is in fantastic condition. No repairs. She is made by, this is from 1958. I'm thinking it's Arnout, maybe. There is her sticker. I'm going to have to look her up because I have never seen these before. She's awesome, to say the least. Then I got this lovely little lady. She is, oh my, what does that say? Hang on, guys. Yeah, made in Japan. <laughs> I can't read anything else, but she's an oldie. Looks like she is Little Bo Peep. With her sheep, she is missing her staff, but that's an easy fix. I could make one out of wire and then just slip it right in the hole in her hand. 
So this is definitely Little Bo Peep with her sheep. You could see she's, she's definitely an oldie. I found this beautiful jewelry casket. And it is musical. I believe it plays Love Story. Very, very pretty. It does have wear, but I think that's the character of it. So I got that. I found a Bailey's um, cup. And this one is a Red Robin. How cool is that? Perfect condition. So I picked that up. I showed this in our haul videos from Kentucky. This is a hand-painted Nippon. This is actually a mustache cup, and I called it a shaving mug. Um, but people said that it is a mustache cup. I mean, I thought this is where your, um, your shaving brush goes or your soap or whatever, you know. I guess you could use it for either or, but it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. The handle is the shiznit as far as I'm concerned. Um, I also got a refrigerator dish with the vegetable design on the top. And I can't even believe it. Like... It's in excellent condition. There's no chips. There's a little teeny flea bite on the, on the inner rim of the lid. And that's it, guys. That is it. It's in fantastic condition. So I picked that up. Scott found me this gorgeous um, Fenton root beer, I call it, um, vase, ruffled top, opalescent. Oh my goodness, this is a stunner. I love the root beer glass, that's what I call it. You can barely see the Fenton mark on the bottom. There's Fritz, my cuckoo. Another piece of root beer glass. Um, it is Fenton. It is marked on the bottom there. This is a beauty as well. Perfect condition. Just needs a cleaning. Uh, pardon me. My nose is running as it always is. I also got Go figure. Um, another cubist fairy lamp. <laughs> I think this this is my favorite, the cubist. Um, it just what a beautiful glow it, it throws off with, at nighttime with the candle in it. It's just beautiful. So I did pick that up. I haven't found one of those here in quite a while, which is surprising to me, but... All right, now, I did find this amazing paperweight. I just wish that it wasn't on this base, but it is, but it is just, look at this paperweight, guys. Isn't that gorgeous? O-M-G. The colors are just amazing. It's heavy, I'm telling you. It's got to be about five pounds, I swear. I'm going to have to weigh it, and then I'll put it in here for you. <laughs> Holy moly. All right. 
Then I got this um, Ray Dunn. I told you in my first video I had gotten a few pieces of Ray Dunn. And I got this cute piece. This is a garlic storage jar. It's got that pretty pale uh, celadon green lid with the little bow on it. <laughs> it's very cute very cute I need to put my shorter items down here on this uh, shelf I have a little uh, cart here so I can wheel all my stuff and put it away and I need the top shelf for the tall stuff all right, then I got, I got some beautiful hand-painted item, guys. Items, items. This was uh, from 1977 to Bessie from Eula. Look at this. Holy moly. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, oh my word. I would say this is a vase. To Bessie from Eula. Just gorgeous. Oh, love that. And then I got this beautiful vase. Um, it is hand-painted and signed, and it's got all the sticker stuff on here I got to get off. Uh, this is from 1983. I will show it to you close up first, and then I will hold it farther away. There's the signature. I don't know why this camera doesn't want to focus right today absolutely beautiful here let's do it this way gorgeous gorgeous i showed these in my haul from kentucky i got these two beautiful hand painted um i i guess you could call them like a cornucopia or horn vases but i mean look at look at this i mean it is absolutely stunning the paint on here i still have to get the rest of the stickers off look at that oh my god they are beautiful to say the least I just can't believe how gorgeous they are. Wow. They're just amazing. Um, I also found an Anna Lee. It's an apple pie Anna Lee, and she's actually holding an apple pie recipe. Look at how cute she is. She's got her little gingham dress on. <laughs> she's so cute I love her she is adorable <laughs> I also got this pack of uh patriotic napkins uh I'm gonna use some for upcycle projects for decoupage so those are for me Um, I got this clown brooch. Now, it is marked, and the thing is, can I make it out? Uh, hmm. It looks like it's a T and an, a, a T. I don't know if it's Trafari. I don't think it, I don't know. But anyways, this is the brooch. How cute is that? I love this. Yeah, the marking is down here. 
and it's very hard to make out, but I got that. I got this beautiful Whiting and Davis purse. Oh my goodness. This is amazing, guys. Here's the inside. There is a tag in here that says Whiting and Davis. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, let's see. I got this. Vinny found this for me. This pretty amber swan. I mean, you could use it for anything. Um, candy. You could put soaps in it in your bathroom. Um, you could put a couple small uh, hand towels rolled up in here. I mean, it is very, very pretty. Really, really pretty. So I got that. I'm trying to figure out. Let me put this down here, and then I could put this up here. There we go. There's a method to my madness, guys. Just don't mind me talking to myself. I then got this gorgeous jewelry casket. It says Japan on the bottom. Look at that. Oh, my word. I can't remember. I might have showed this in... Kentucky in one of the halls. I don't remember, but here it is again. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Um, I got, I'm going to run through these real quick. I got a bunch of small squishmallows. Some of them I'm selling and some of them are going to go to my granddaughter, Winnie. This one is going to go to Winnie. I'm going to give it to her on her birthday because her birthday is a strawberry-themed birthday party. So she's going to get this little cutie. <laughs> and she's going to get this little fishy because he is the fish. This is Nemo, a Nemo Squishmallow. This I'll be selling. This is obviously a candy corn. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, this little unicorn I'll be selling. Still has the tags. Her name is Inez. <laughs> this I'm giving to Winnie as well. This little bunny. And the last one is this adorable little bunny. And this one will be for sale, I think. I might give it to Winnie, though. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to give it to Winnie. <laughs> yes, she is spoiled, okay? While we're on the stuffed animal subject, I did get this vintage deer. Ooh, he looks like he's on crack. Look at those eyes. <laughs> Holy moly. Either that or he got into Santa's eggnog. One of the two. <laughs> Alrighty. Then I got these beautiful um, hand-painted items. This gorgeous dish. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? There's the signature. I got this pretty hand-painted lemon server. Gorgeous. Not marked. I don't know who. Neither one of these are marked. This is amazing. This is a 3D. This is made by Norcrest. 
Look at that plate. Tell me that is not awesome. Oh my goodness. Now I have 3D plates like this, but they're small ones. I have three of them hanging on my living room wall. So I was debating whether or not I was going to keep this one, but I think I am going to sell it. It's gorgeous. It really is beautiful. Um, I got a couple vintage Valentines. They were very cute. Both made by the Gibson Card Company. They're not written on. I got this postcard because it's kitties. Um... Where is the thing to take it out? Oh, duh. <laughs> I thought it had one of those flat things. Someone wrote on the front because they ran out of space in the back. This is from 1913. Look at those kitties. So it's all written on. And then, as I said, she carried on over to the front. But I loved it. I loved the kitties on here. So I think those this would look really pretty in a frame. And if you wanted to, you could probably erase the writing on the front very carefully because it's in pencil. So Okay, so... You probably saw in Scott's video where him and I were looking through this box of old photos and we were just having a good old time until we came upon this particular photo. Um, just a warning, it is a post-mortem photo uh, that we came upon. Now, here, I'm like, oh, my gosh, why is that picture in here? <laughs> but, unbeknownst to me, post-mortem pictures are pretty big sellers out on, like, eBay and those places, which totally shocked me. So, and I know back in the day, people did take post-mortem pictures of their family members. So, um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I need to do a little bit of research. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we were laughing and having a good old time, and then all of a sudden we pulled this out and turned it over, and we were like, oh, dear. <laughs> but, you know, it's a part of life. Death is a part of life, and, you know, it is what it is, guys, unfortunately. All right, moving on. Uh, we went to um, some yard sales, and I did find these uh, Cameo pattern uh, uranium saucers. Um, I got five of them. One of them does have um, a chip, and I will show that to you. They do glow. It's this one. It's got quite a significant um, chip. Why are you not focusing? There we go. Yeah. So I probably will not sell this one. Just the other four. So that was a nice find. Okay. Now, to end this thrift haul video, we are going to do... A uh, hand-painted decorative plate extravaganza. <laughs> okay, here we go. This beautiful bowl with the strawberries and the reticulated um, edging here is absolutely stunning. And it is initialed on the back by the artist. If you hear that noise, that's Binks drinking water. He's thirsty, apparently. <laughs> 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 
Then I got this beauty. Look at this. Oh my word. Absolutely gorgeous. This one has sticker on it I still have to get off. Look at this. Look at the carnations. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one I showed in Kentucky, but I'm going to show it again. It's absolutely, oh my gosh, stunning. Stunning. This one was made in Austria. This one, look at that. This one is hand painted in Bavaria. Another strawberry one. This one's not marked. This one, oh my God, I think these are gooseberries. Look at the colors on this plate. Oh my word, look at that. Oh, this one's not marked either. This one is beautiful. This one is um, like a lusterware finish. This is Bavaria. Got sticker still on there I have to get off. This one. I thought this one was very, very pretty. This one is... Can't read it. It does have a hairline crack. Marcel, Mar Marcelli or something. I don't know. Um, you could see there. Um, see that? That's a hairline. It doesn't go all the way through. <coughs> and the last one. Oh, boy. This one is amazing. Look at this thing of beauty. Oh, my word. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I, there was no way I could leave these works of art behind. I mean, I just couldn't. So that is the end of part two, Thrift Haul from Kentucky. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I know that there are so many beautiful um, things from this haul, you know, as far as hand-painted items. And you know how I am with that. I just can't, can't resist. So anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Please don't forget to leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm working on getting to 13K at some point. I would love to be able to get there by the end of the year. Uh, and don't forget, um... <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Share. Share the video. <laughs> you know what? It's been a long day already, and it's not even 10.15 uh, in the morning. <laughs> All right, guys. On that note, I'm definitely getting out of here. So I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>